Blackout model JD700. This is the e-file that I use. I will share the link in the description. It comes with a foot pad so you can control the machine. This is my second e-file and I love it. You can adjust the speed to the way you want it. It comes with different size bits, on and off button. After applying the new bit, you're able to lock it. Not a lot of machines do this. This is how it looks. You need to twist if you want to lock or unlock in order to put in the new bit. The nail gel can remove poly gel, dipping powder, nail polish, UV gel nail, acrylic nails, and so on. Maybe one day I can make a video to explain what each bit does. In this video, I want to show you how to take off builder gel. Now is the fun part. Here I'm going to start. I'm using a nail sand bit. Please be cautious while using this sand bit. First of all, you need to choose the speed that you would like. Right now, I have it on high. I will be taking off as much as I can. I'll be doing the same thing for all of my fingers. Make sure to apply the bit flat on your nail. The bit that I'm using is used for taking off the bulk or if you want to do um, a fill. My nails are Builder Gel UV. So if I want to refill, I would just be taking off the first layer like I'm doing right now. The last refill that I did was four weeks ago. This time I will not be doing a refill. I've been doing a refill for six months now. After a while your builder gel gets old. I decided that I want to take everything off. Once I take everything off, I'm going to post a new video with my new set and you'll be able to see how I apply builder gel. Before I do that, I want to make a video about how to prepare your nail before starting. Also, I want to show you how I use the nail drill for my cuticles. I think that would be an awesome idea. Anyways, I'm now going to speed up the video. Wow, look at how much dust there is. So now I'm just going to clean up and see what I need to do. Now I'm using a different nail bit. I'm carefully taking off what's left of the builder gel. So now I'm going to be cutting my nails. I'm not ready to make a new set and my nails are too thin for to leave it like that. Nails do not breathe. So my nails are going to be soft for a few days. It's like taking off a bandage. After a few days it's going to become hard. Again, the reason why I'm taking everything off is because I want to start over from scratch. Now you need to buff your nails. You can use this orange buffer or a nail filer. I prefer to do both. You do not want to over buff. Doing so can damage your nail plate.
That's it for this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.